All right, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve these logarithmic functions without using a calculator, okay? I don't have any calculator here, let's try it. First one says log base two of one. So when I have to solve this, I wanna have it equal to something. So I'm gonna say equals what? And when we have a what in math, we say x. So log base two of one equals x. We can use our properties that we figured out in our last video, link up there if you need it, um, where I have the base of my logarithm set it equal, or set it raise to the other side, x equals one. And then what I can do here is try to find the same base to use for both the left and the right side equal sign to help me solve the exponents. In this case, I think two is gonna be a good base to use. So this one's already done to the x. I have to think two raised to what is one? Well, two raised to the zero power is one. Therefore, I just can kind of cancel off my bases and say that x equals zero. And it's solved. There you go. All right? Now the second one, what about log base one half of 16 equals what? So equals x is what I'll say there. So again, the base is one half. We're gonna raise this to the x and have it equal to 16. So again, I'm trying to think what would be a good base I could raise both these things to, they're the same. And I'm probably gonna use a two here. I know that two raised to the negative first is one half, but I have to multiply it by the exponent that's already there, in this case, x. All right, on this side, two raised to the fourth power is 16, so that's what I'm gonna say for this one. Since I have the bases the same, just like I did in the last one, they are going to cancel. Negative times x, or negative one times x is negative x equals four, divided by negative one, and positive x equals negative four. Just like that. What about number three? What about a natural log, or ln, is what you might see if you have your calculator. But we're not supposed to do these with our calculator, so it says natural log of e to the third equals what? Equals x. So you have to remember a little bit that the natural log is actually log base e. So I'm gonna write that down instead of the natural log. I'm gonna say log base e, and then I'm gonna say of e to the third, because that's what this currently is. It's written as the natural log of e to the third, which that's the same thing as log base e of e to the third equals x, all right? So the base I'm using is e, so I can say e raised to the x equals e raised to the third, and now both of those bases are e, so they cancel. Leave me with x equals three. All right, now some of you might have caught on by now, but there's a shortcut with this. Whenever you see natural log and e next to each other, they just cancel right away. So I could have just crossed those out and had three equals x right away, just like I had in my answer. So if you know that shortcut, go ahead and use it. If you didn't know it, now you do. All right, what about number four? Log of, again, there's no base, so log of the square root of 10 equals what? So equals x. Now again, if there is no base and it is a log, not a natural log, that's log base e for that one. But if it's a regular log and there's no base, we can assume it's a 10, because we use 10 as our base for our counting system. Log base 10 of the square root of 10 equals what? All right, so I'm gonna say 10 raised to the x equals the square root of 10. And this one's written a little bit differently than these last few where even this one where as a fraction, we were able to get that to be two raised to something. We probably are going to use 10 here. However, we have to remember that the square root of 10 can also be written as 10 raised to the 1 half, okay? 10 raised to the 1 half, which is nice because the other side is also 10 raised to the power of x, and so now they're the same, they're gonna cancel, leaving me with just the exponents, x equals 1 half. All right, hey guys, if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up for me, then you might find this video helpful where we switch these back and forth, these different logarithms and exponential functions.